Good morning, this is G-Man Fishing for, uh, let's see, what day is it? It is the 22nd of June. Today we're going to be on Lake Simtuskis. Uh, you have to have a tribal permit and a state fishing license to fish here. I'll give you a quick glimpse of where we're at. I don't know how well you guys can see it, but hey, there we go. So we're going to uh, do some trolling. Uh, we got a little 12 foot or 14 foot uh, aluminum uh, boat with a six horsepower motor. Um, should be a fun morning and uh, we'll see what happens. Um, today the gals aren't with me today, G-Man. Girls, the wife and kids, they're not with me today. They couldn't make it. So I got another fella coming here pretty quick. and He's going to be fishing with me. We're going to... Um, once we get to the boat, I'll show you the boat, and then uh, I'll show you the uh, riggings we're going to be using today, and uh, hopefully uh, we catch some fish. So uh, that'll be it until uh, he gets here. So, hey, this is my coworker. He's a fellow G-man. Um, he's going to be fishing with us today. Uh, I don't know how well you can see see him, but we'll <laughs> look at this here iPhone and see what it says. <laughs> Oh yeah, you can see him pretty good, so I guess we're good to go. Um, we're going to be doing some trolling today, uh, trying to catch some trout and some uh, kokanee and hopefully have a good day. So let's see if we can get the motor started. Today we got this motor running. Um, got to let it warm up a minute and then we'll uh, uh, see you when we get back to fishing. All right. Yay, Tracy's got a fish on. We'll see what it looks like here in a minute. If we can ever land it. He's taking his granny time with it. There's the net right there. Here we go. All right. There you go, man. First lake trout or what? So. Hey, he's hitting them early and often, I guess. So, um, I have a heck of a time trying to point this thing when it's on my chest, but, um, that's just the way it is. It's, these things are got chest, you know, mounts and head mounts, and I haven't tried to head mount yet. So, but we got one trout so far in the boat, and, uh, we'll see what happens. Oh, yeah. Uh, you're supposed to be talking, it's your fish. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. They hit hard, pretty good though. What'd he hit you on? Oh, worm. Worm in a wedding ring, it looks like? Yep. All right. Well. Water is, water feels good. Oh yeah? Is it warm or is it cool? It's cool. All right. Nice and cool to the touch, I mean. Sweet. Yeah. It's gonna be a nice day. Should be a great day. That's All right. Part of it right there. Yep. See, so just show up, hit, pick up your riggings and show them what you're dealing with here. Well, you leave my pole. James's pole, he set me up. Told me to leave my gear home today, so I wasn't going to argue. He's got me set up right now with... A wedding ring? Yeah, a wedding ring. Tip it with a night crawler? Yep, tip it with a night crawler. It's doing pretty good. A rubber snubber, yeah, which is right there. Off. I don't know how well you can see it. Because I... That sun. Yeah. And a little weight. A little weight. Looks like maybe a, maybe what, three quarter? About that, yeah. Yeah, about a three quarter ounce. But we're going to get another bait on here and throw it back in and see what else we can get. See if we can get something bigger. All right. So far, it's a great start. I'd like to thank James for asking me to come along with him today. We work together. Seems like we'd be tired of each other, but we never see each other on the road. So <laughs> just a wave and a past each other yep and he's a g-man he drives his garbage truck too so that works yep. this is g-man fishing <laughs> so there you go that's why it's called g-man fishing because we drive garbage truck and on uh, warm springs reservation they call it g they call us g-man instead of garbage men yep. hey tracy's got another fish on yeah this one hit hard 
scared. <laughs> he almost ripped the pole out the out the boat. Cause Tracy was too busy messing around instead of oh, it's fixing up your pool. Instead of fishing. But you know what they say about them natives, right? Yeah. They just mess around, they don't do take anything serious. But he There he is. Yeah, there you go. Another one. Yep. Let me put this down so I can knit it for you. <laughs> oh, there you go. Hey, that's a bit bigger one right there. Yeah, that one there is cute. Hey, that's a caper, it looks like, huh? Yeah, that one's a caper for sure. <laughs> he don't want to stay still, does he? No, he don't. But he's going to have to. Hey, that's a nice little trout you got going on there, bud. Hook you too. I, I see that. Go ahead and throw him in that there cooler. He's gonna go home for dinner. Oh yeah. The small ones we catch them, we kiss them and release them. Hey, you want to pull that uh, out of the top of that, please? There you go. All right, thank you. The only thing about them is slime. We don't want to get into these other guys fishing along the dam here. Wait. <laughs> Here, I got a knocker out or thing. You want to knock him out? That's bigger. Yeah, he is. Now, these trout are stocked in here and they're meant for eating, so when you catch a keeper, you got to take them. You know, you don't just let them back in the water. I'll let him move his pole and then I'll put this back in there. Somewhat, huh? Yeah. All right. I had to, you know, let go. I'm gonna break off some of this one because it's too big, and I'll give it to you. All right. Okay. There you go. Wedding rings work. Yep. Hey, this is G, man. I got a fish on too. As soon as this guy quits playing with the net, we'll get him landed. Well, okay. <laughs> 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 He's not a very good net man, that Tracy. All right. Him now. All right. That one's pretty good size. Yeah, too. that one's another keeper. Uh, yeah. Let it oh yeah. He's nice. So there we go. Catching fish, enjoying the day. Trying to get him unhooked so I can get back to fishing. There you go. Conk him on the head. Put him on ice. Yeah, that's All the right. So there's three fish caught and landed, two in the cooler. One, put, one put back. Tracy forgot to kiss it though, because this is G-Man fishing, and uh, we believe in catching and kissing and releasing. Oh, but uh, did you check your bait before. Yeah, you I did. I still has a worm left, so. Hey, that ain't too bad. We've only been out here for what, half an hour. Half hour. So, we ain't doing too bad of a job. No. So, and it's a five fish limit, of course. Um. I don't know. For you. Yeah, for me. Uh, tribal members, I'm not real sure, but I think they have a no limit on, on the fish. So, Tracy's going to be able to keep a little bit more fish than I do, which is fine. I mean, there's only four of them in my family, so, so uh, you know, four, five fish is plenty for, for four of us. Um, so, but it's just good fishing. Started great, and you're getting to look at Tracy Sam a lot. There went a bite right there. There's another fish. <laughs> he jumped right there. There's another one. <laughs> I 
I never knew how hard it was to steer a boat and try to land a fish at the same time. It's, you know, I've only had this boat for a month now and I've taken it out one other time. This is the second time I've taken it out. Oh, that's a, looks like another keeper. I'm telling you, Tracy needs to work on his work on his netting skills. I got you. <laughs> no, I think he's a little bit small. I think we'll we'll let this one go and try and get a bigger one. Oh, that that's still you know it's got the length. It just don't have the girth to it like the other ones. So we'll just let this one go. See, I'm going to kiss him, and you guys can't see it because I'm holding the the camera. Mwah. He didn't kiss him. I kissed him and I released him. <laughs> nope, I still got a piece of worm on there. So still good? Yep, still got still got a piece of worm on there. See, and we don't want to keep five right off the back anyways, because we want to fish today. We we don't want to just uh catch five and then have to call it a day. You know, so see if I catch five I have to quit fishing. You know, that, that ain't fun. You can drive me around. Uh, no, I don't want to just drive you around all day. So, but anywho, this this has just a, been a blast so far. Oh, yeah. I switched from the 45 minutes in. big swim bait, and I'll show you the big swim bait I was using earlier. See? Uh, I was using a rainbow trout colored swim bait, trying to catch a big fish, and fished with it for a while and decided I wanted to catch some fish so I switched to the wedding ring and I'm using the red and gold the red with the gold spoon or gold uh, spinner he's using the red and white with a silver, silver. spinner, spinner yeah. on it and as you can tell these uh they're working yeah. I'm fishing deeper than he is because I got a little bit bigger weight on on uh for mine because i want to fish a little bit deeper that way we're fishing two different depths um i can't tell you how deep i am because i don't have any way to indicate i don't have down riggers or a fish finder to tell me how deep i'm fishing so we just have to do it the way we're doing it and hope like heck uh, the fish are biting at the depths we're fishing at and they've been that's for sure yeah. why don't you give the camera a big old smile there tracy well there went another bite <laughs> come on there we go. Got another fish on. <laughs> so I'm telling you, this is just, this is re insane. Man, we are just catching them, I guess. Yeah. Did you get a bite too? Yeah. <laughs> they didn't want to stay on though. Well, like I said, they tend to hit it and then come back for it, you know? Yeah. Let's see what happens. Yeah. That one's a nice one. Yeah, that was pretty big when they jumped out of there. Oh, yeah? So, reeling in another, another fish. Oh, this one looks like another keeper because this one looks bigger than the last one. Whoa, he's got some fighting too. Yeah, I'm telling you. Right All right. I think there. we're, I think we're gonna keep this one because uh, uh, he's a little bit thicker than that last one, and I think he's a little bit longer. Oh yeah, he is. See, and the reason why we dump him over the head is so we're not cruel and unusual, and we don't get in trouble by. People who think that uh, being inhumane, <laughs> we're being inhumane yeah. by not killing them right away. Now, if we had a live well, we'd just put them in a live well and call it good. But we don't have a live well. No. Nope. So we're going to do the humane thing and we're going to knock them over the head real quick. Like and a worm. There you go. All right. Thank you. And we're just using a wedding ring tipped with a little piece of crawler. We even got corn because uh, when you're kokanee fishing, they seem to like that corn. So, but uh, we, so far we haven't put no corn on the on the hooks yet. We've just been. Uh, I'm gonna try it here in a bit. We, we're we're just catching fish. Yeah. On the, uh, you know, on a night crawler and a wedding ring. Don't even need the corn right now. Yeah. But we're gonna try it. We're gonna give you guys techniques and. All right, we got a two double on. We got a double on. All right, we got two of them on. Right on. Doubled up. First double of the day. Sweet. Can't complain about that. Oh, that's another keeper. Oh, he come off. Now we just got to worry about getting your fish. That's 
see if we can get him in. He's right there. Here he goes. <laughs> That's good. You got it on film. <laughs> I know, right? Come on, man. Well, mine came off right at the boat. Trace is still reeling his in. There he is. There he is. So, we're going to see if we can land at least one of the two. <laughs> oh, his come off too. No, that's what we call fish. And that's what we call fishing, though. <laughs> I mean, it wouldn't be called fishing if we were catching them all. Yep. And it looks like I need a new crawler. Can you hand me a new crawler there, yep, yep. Tracy? <laughs> it's the same thing. Got it up to the boat. Got another fish on. He feels like a small one. And uh, we had to detour from our uh, line because uh, we don't want to mess up this guy fishing on the other side of us but we got a fish on and we're turning the boat around and trying to get out of these guys away so we don't run into their line and we don't make anybody mad today but i may have made him mad i don't know yeah that one's uh definitely a releaser i think yeah he comes off it's all right yeah i just don't want him to come off because i want to catch him kiss him and release him oh yeah he's just a baby guy Yeah, that's probably why. Yeah. See, I, this net's wet, so I'm, with these trout, they're kind of a delicate fish, so you kind of want to keep them wet so you don't hurt them too bad. And so now I'm going to kiss him. If I can get him to stop moving long enough for me to kiss him, and then I'm going to release him. Mwah. Goodbye. There he goes. Yep. That's number what? <laughs> number six, I think. We've released three. Seven. We lost those two. Well, that would be eight because oh, we, yeah, yeah, we lost two. That would be eight, but two of them technically we can't count because we didn't land them. They, we lost them both right at the bank. Right at the boat. Our boat, Literally yeah. Literally right on the side. See, I'm getting confused because I'm not used to being in a boat. This is like the second time I've ever taken this boat out. I've only had it for a month, and I'm calling it the bank. Imagine that. But anywho, we're back to fishing. We got out of these other guys' way. Hopefully we didn't make them mad. Um, no, they're all sitting around. Because the last thing we want to do is make other people mad. I know fishing on a bank here, because I can cast a lot further than a lot of people, these boats come up and run right over my line. And that's one thing I don't want to do, is I don't want to make people mad when I'm fishing and they're fishing. So um, for those with the, with the boat, if you see somebody fishing on a bank and they ask you to please not, uh, run over their line be considerate they're fishing too I mean it don't take much more to go another 10 15 feet away from where they're casting their lines because I like to when I'm fishing from the bank I like to use my braided line a float and my float usually on top of the water and the braided line floats and I've had so many times here at Lake Simtuskis fishing where I fish from the bank and these boaters, they come up and they run right over my line. I have to ask them to please not do that. They really make me mad when I'm, I'm fishing and I'm trying to catch the same fish they're trying to catch, but yet they're not considerate enough to not run over my line. So with that being said, please be considerate of bank fishermen. They're fishing too. They don't need their lines ran over. I've actually had my line caught in a propeller and had a full swell of, of line uh, ripped off my line because people weren't considerate enough to go a little bit further out so they don't run over your line yeah. gopro stop recording oh i need to mention that pretty much what we're doing here trolling is making circles we're starting at one point co coming up the one side of the the lake and then we're going up along the dam along the dam i don't know how well you can see it because we're quite a ways away um and we're just making circles right now. We're, you know, fishing partly the middle and, you know, going from one side to the other and mostly just staying pretty close to the banks um, while we're trolling and uh, going up along the dam and back down and around and just making circles pretty much. Um, once in a while, we cut down the middle of the, of the lake, but not too much, mostly just when we're just crossing one side to the other. And we might catch more fish if we ran the middle more. I don't know. Like I said, I'm still fairly new at this uh, boat fishing business and trolling. So 
we're just doing what we're doing just trying to give you guys a good show uh some knowledge about the fishing um we're both using eight pound p line on our reels except for the uh, wedding ring it comes with the uh, its own line when you buy them and i don't know what pound test that is i guess if i read the package you might tell me um but yeah we're just having a fun got another fish on here um reeling man feels like a bit nicer fish than the last one so we'll see if he's a keeper he's got some fight to him anyways and he does feel heavier so we'll see what happens when we get him in oh yeah he said oh lost him right out the bank i don't know if you guys could see that but i mean i can't really you know turn that well i gotta pretty much keep myself where i can steer steer steer, steer the boat and try to land these fish but it is what it is hey mr uh uh sam he got a himself a northern pike minnow on some corn behind his wedding ring so once he gets it unhooked maybe he'll show it show it to y'all yeah, yeah i do so you pretty good you always got to have flyers when you go fishing I think maybe you can see it now with the way I'm turned. I'm not real sure. See, there you go. A little northern pike. All right, we got another fish on. Don't know what it is yet, but we got another one. We'll see here, hopefully in a minute. Maybe it's a keeper, maybe it's not. Maybe it's another northern pike man. But we got a fish, it's been a little, you know, I guess not because he caught that northern pike minnow, so it wasn't that long ago. But it just seemed like it because it's been, it's slowed down since it's gotten to be about 10. So, oh yeah, it's another trout, I think. Oh yeah, it's another trout. Oh, I don't know if he's big enough to keep yet. Look. <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I think he's too small. I think we'll put him back. See, I'm gonna wet my hands with the net so that when I'm touching the fish and stuff, I'm not hurting him. And the net's wet, so it's got uh, some protection for the fish. And uh, so now we're gonna take this boy off and kiss him and release him. Can I get those flies? Yeah. Thank you, sir. Woo. Oops, that wasn't a good one. Yeah. All right. Kissed him. Now he's back. Well, this is G-Man Fishing signing out. We had a lovely day. We caught 20 fish. We only kept uh, a few um fish um say goodbye to tracy the other g-man uh, see you guys later have a good one it's been a good day and uh we'll get this edited and back to you real soon and we'll show you a quick picture of the fish we did keep there are eight of them in there six of them in there i can't count this is g-man signing out have a good evening